So, the Chase Qualifier Leg 9, also over two miles and two and a half furlongs here at Hereford. Like a property for Darren Thompson, that top weight. Oswald for Stu Gray, Senchi Bricky for Vinnie Gerard, Martin Liebman's Highland Quest. La Marita Butts, Matt Cooper, Punchable Racing's The Great Bomber, Nicky Mass for Martin Needham, Knight Jedi for Stu Gray, Alex Cherry's Church Gaze and Foxtown, Matt Cooper's Link Sydney, Miss Midwinter for Padraig Hogan, looking to follow up from last week, and Sean Blue for John Morgan, make up 13, looking for those four qualifying spots. Got plenty of greys in this race, and the one that's going off into the lead is Sean Blue, into the first of the 15, although he was very slow over it, a couple of mistakes there. Highland Quest and Miss Midwinter. It's also a grey at the rear. But Sean Blue leads him into the second. And they all clear that again. A slow jump by Miss Midwinter. A winner last time out. Be looking to improve his jumping here. So they get to the ditch, the third. Oh, we've lost one, and it's Night Jedi that goes. Another disaster for the grey stables. None of them can stand on their feet this year. The ones that do, do don't seem to have any pace, but it's Sean Blue that leads us here with a five length advantage from Highland Quest and Link Sydney. Stablemate Nicky Mass and then Oswald a little bit wider, like a property. Running alongside the grey bomber, the grey against the Rao. Mistake there, I think, by Oswald and the green silks of Senchi Bricky. Foxtown, Miss Midwinter wide. The church gaze and Lamarita buffs out. Back marker at the moment as they go over the fifth. We'll clear that mistake this time by Link Sydney. Hit the top of it, shuffles back. And Oswald joins Lamarita Buffs at the rear. But Charm Blue with a five length advantage from Stablemates Highland Quest and Nicky Mass. The outside of that is Link Sydney. On the inside is the Grey Bomber, the Grey. And then we've got Lyca Property and Senchi Bricky. This time the leader was very slow over that. That'll be the last next time round, as we know there's not much of a rung in. You just want to be leading as you get to that fence. But it's Sean Blue by three now to Highland Quest in second. Link Sydney's third. Nicky Mass is fourth and the Great Bomber is fifth. Then you've got Lyca Property in sixth. Miss Midwinter wide at seventh. And Fox Tower is eighth. Oswald nine. Senchi Bricky up against the row is ten. They will get over that. And just the two at the rear church gaze. And the one that's just a little bit off the pace is the Lamarita Buffs for Matt Cooper closer to the chasing pack all the time. So they come down to the final mile. Sean Blue leads them over the ditch. They will clear that. It's just rather stepped over. It was Oswald out winding the black silks. But it's Sean Blue by a couple of lengths to Highlands Quest. Take another. All cleared. This midwinter's made up good ground now on the outside of the grey bomber has moved off the route. Going backwards a little bit is Nicky Mass. The one that's sneaking up on the row is Senchi Bricky in the all green silks of, well, the two tone green silks of Vinnie Gerard. Champion flat trainer. I can imagine if we do another SO7, he'll be right up there on the, on the hunt as they go over another, the 11th. So with four to take, it's Sean Blue going to ride them into the next one. Gypsy Bomber just moving up wide into second. So they go over the 12th. Good jump there by Gypsy Bomber. Sean Blue is a little bit slow, and it's the Gypsy Bomber that takes it up now. With Sean Blue up against the Rao. These two are a length away from Nicky Mass up at Link Sydney and Highland Quest battling wide. Senchi Bricky went out wide now and trying a little bit more racing room as we come inside the final half mile. So Sean Blue from the Grey Bomber. These two Greys got a length advantage from Nicky Mass. Trying to run on through the pack now is Lamarita Buffs, who was in last recently. But it's the Grey Bomber and Sean Blue, and it's the Grey Bomber. Grey Bomber carrying a little bit more weight than Sean Blue as we come down to the final quarter mile with just two to take. It's the Grey Bomber. Gets over it well, but a little bit slow. Sean Blue, Foxtail pecked a bit on landing. Senchi Bricky trying to close the gap, and Nicky Mass. But up front is Sean Blue that just takes it up inside the furlong. But here comes... Senchi Bricky and Nicky Mass to take them both inside the furlong and it's Senchi Bricky and Nicky Mass pulling away from the rest of the field here. Senchi Bricky down to the last, went into it a little bit slow and it's Nicky Mass that jumped better. It's Nicky Mass that's going to take this and from Senchi Bricky who's jockeying and shooting from Leica Property in third. I think Foxtown got up for fourth or it might have been Link Sydney. There you go, qualifiers. Hereford, quite an exciting course really. A lot of changes in the final furlong but a good win there for... 
Martin Leader, well done. Nicky Mass takes it from Senchi Bricky of Vinnie Gerard. Third was Darren Thompson off top weight like a property. Foxtail for Alex Cherry was fourth and the Highland Quest also for Martin Leader was fifth. So the first will qualify. That's me for the week. I'll see you in week 12. And good luck with the Hunters and Grey up next.